Hey guys, welcome to TheRevitKid.com. This is part three of our door series. And today I'm going to show you a, uh, making a door stop and a door panel. These are all three dimensional objects. Um, so first, we already have our frame, which we've built before. <coughs> uh, we haven't given it a material yet. We'll get into materials later. But we built this using a sweep. So realistically, we only have a, um, we only needed one set of these these parameters, so I'm going to get rid of the top ones. Not necessary. Actually, you know what? We'll leave the top ones. We'll get rid of this one. Not necessary. Uh, we'll, I'll leave these two. We don't really need them both here, but I'm going to leave them anyways. This one inch is still okay because we're going to use it. Uh, I'm going to copy off of this and create another inch. Uh, now I'm going to copy on the inside here. One inch. Copy again. CO for copy. And now I'm going to create a parameter for these. Let me save. So I use DI for distance, or you can go, I mean for dimension, or you can go uh, under annotate and dimension. Um, so I'm going to dimension off of this, and I'm going to dimension the other one inch parameter, another one inch. And now I'm just going to select the three of these. I'm going to go up to the top here, say add parameter. I'm going to call this one stop inset, or let's say door stop. Door stop with, keep that as a type parameter. Now, this, the door stop is going to need a set of parameters on the floor plan view. So if we go to floor plan, you see we got our new one inch parameter here and our new one inch parameter here. Now we want this to be either centered on the wall or we want it to move. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I think I'm going to do it centered on the wall. Um, you can you can think about how, how to make it move, whether you dimension it off the face of the wall and have a, a parameter there or a face of the wall here. But I think I'm going to keep it on the center. So we're going to pull this back by, let's say, something like two inches. Dimension that. So I just drew a reference plane, I pulled it back, and, uh, and I gave it dimension. Now I'm going to add a parameter here on the two inch. <coughs> I'm going to call this uh, door stop depth. Okay. So now we're just going to do a simple extrusion uh, on the exterior side. Doesn't really matter which side, but we're going to do a simple set of extrusions here. So I go to home, I say extrusion. Firstly, I like to use rectangles and then just delete the inside because this way the parameters automatically pop up. So if you hit here, you have your constraints I mean already pop up. Constrain it, constrain it, and constrain it. Um, then I'm going to draw one more rectangle on the inside. It's going to give you an error saying they overlap. That's okay, we're going to delete one. So just constrain, constrain, constrain. Down here, we're going to delete the interior one. Now I'm going to use a command called split. These are just uh, quick productivity uh, commands that help out. So up here on the on the command bar, on the toolbar, you can see this is split, or SL is the keyboard shortcut. So I'm just going to split this, and then I'm going to use trim, which is up here, which is uh, TR. So trim and trim. Now this is locked completely to everything around it, which is nice. So if I click finish here, it's going to give us an extrusion. Uh, it's going to be popping out so you can see it popping out here. I'm going to go floor plan. I'm going to lock it to those other dimensions we set up. So I'm just going to lock it here. Actually, I'm going to align it to that reference plane. And then I'm going to align it to this reference plane. So I used AL for align and lock it. So now we've got a door stop. Um, if you want, you could join these two if they're going to be the same material. Sometimes it might look a little better if you do. I'm going to leave it unjoined for now. <clears throat> so now, we're going to draw our door panel. So our door panel is going to go on the quote-unquote exterior side of this. And it's simple. Just draw an extrusion. Um, we might want to do... I want to add a parameter for this too. So I'm going to type RP move this up, let's say two inches, set up a 
dimension for this, di for dimension. Grab this dimension. We might have a width here. Thickness, so we'll use thickness. Thickness is two inches. Now I'm gonna go to the exterior side and I'm going to draw my door. So I'm gonna draw an extrusion. Use a rectangle again. On the inside of the door, we're gonna go from one end to the other. I'm gonna lock it in, click finish. Now in 3D, you can see it just popping out still, which is okay. Now we need to go to our reference level. Take the extrusion and align it here. Align it with the center. I like to use the align command for that. Make sure you hit the reference point. Now this door, we are not going to want to see in plan. Um, right now I'll load it in and show you exactly what happens. So if I load this, load this into my project, I'm going to overwrite, you're going to see our doors popping. So you can see here's our door now. And if we go to floor plan, you can see our door here. Now you can see the controls work. So see how it's all flipping, which is nice. Uh, you can see the frame is adjusting and it's all based off the center which is okay. Um, if we move it, it automatically moves and cleans up. And if we edit the, the different parameters here, it'll update. So it all updates. Now the thing is, is when we want to show it as a floor plan view, we want to show it open. And to do that, we should originally hide the three dimension view. So if I go into back into my family, I select this extrusion. I say visibility and graphics override. And you can see there's these settings here. So we don't want it to be seen in plan and RCP, and we don't want it to see when cut in plan and RCP. Oops. So if we click OK on that, load it into the project, we'll see what happens. Ooh. Oh, it looks like I selected the wrong thing here. So again, if I select the extrusion. Oh, when cut was still open. Don't know why that happened, but for some reason when cut was still checked up. So let's change this again. Click apply. Overwrite and the panel disappears. But it still exists in three dimensions. It still exists in three dimensions as well as in elevations. So that's really how to draw a model a door panel. Um, next we're going to talk about how to create this panel in plan view as symbolic lines and different options there.